Hi, my name is Julio Sanchez. I'm the product marketing engineer for our general purpose analog and RF product portfolio at ST Microelectronics. In today's webinar, we will be talking about how to implement social distancing solutions with our Bluetooth Low Energy and the way ST can help our customers speed up their design and time to market. Now let's review the agenda for today. We will begin with a brief update on our Bluetooth Low Energy product portfolio. After this, we will highlight the key features of our Blue Energy M0 and M2 modules. Then we will talk about the need for social distancing and contact tracing applications based on Bluetooth LE to protect human health under today's challenges. And the way SC is helping in implementing this type of applications. We will also discuss the effect that rotation and positioning have over the RSSI value of the signal. We will also review on how ultra low power consumption and low cost are key features for social distancing applications. We will also mention some of the examples of contact tracing applications in the market today based on our Blue Energy 2 SOC. And last but not least, we will conclude with the takeaways of this webinar. In regards to our Bluetooth Low Energy product portfolio, we have two main product offerings, depending on our customer needs in regards to features and processing capabilities. Our STM32 product family, which is based on a dual core SOC with a Cortex M4 running the application and a Cortex M0 Plus running the BLE stack with up to one meg of flash and 256K of RAM. On the other hand, we have our Blue Energy product family, where we have both a network coprocessor and an SOC product offering. Within our network coprocessor family, we have the Blue Energy MS, which is a low cost solution for simple Bluetooth LE applications, and our most recent device, the Blue Energy 2N, which is certified as Bluetooth 5.0. Both of these solutions give our customers the flexibility to choose the MCU that best fits their needs. Regarding our SOC product offering, we have our Blue Energy Dash 1 and Dash 2, based on a Cortex M0 running at 32 MHz with up to 256K of flash and 24K of RAM. And our Blue Energy LP family of devices, certified as BT 5.2, based on a Cortex M0 Plus running at 64 MHz with up to 256K of flash and 64K of RAM fully compliant with the 2 megabit per second FI, the long range capability, and the advertising extension. The Blue Energy M0A and M0L are Bluetooth Low Energy Network processor modules based on the Blue Energy MS. They go up to 6 dBms of output power compared to other modules in the market that can only achieve 4 dBms. This translates into farther range capabilities. They communicate to the host MCU via SPI interface. They are pre-certified modules, which helps reduce the overall certification and engineering cost. This also brings flexibility to designers, since the connectivity block can be fixed and our customers can select the microcontroller that best fits their needs. The difference between them is that the Blue Energy M0As is power consumption optimized with an internal switching mode power supply and LSE, whereas the Blue Energy M0L is cost optimized, powered by the internal LDO and the internal clock oscillator. They come in a small form factor, which makes it ideal for IoT applications and support the industrial temperature range, going from minus 40 to 85 degrees. Their supply voltage goes from minus 1.7 to 3.6, which along with their ultra low power consumption makes them ideal for battery powered applications. Some of the key applications are smart home and industrial automation, remote control and monitoring devices. The Blue Energy M2SA and M2SP are based on the Blue Energy Dash 2 SOC running on a Cortex-M0 with 256K of flash and 24K of ultra-low leakage RAM with an output power that goes all the way to 7 dBms in the M2SP. It comes with a rich peripheral set which includes I2C, SPI, UART, DMA, PDM, just to mention a few. These are pre-certified modules which helps as we mentioned before, to reduce the overall certification and engineering costs. The Blue Energy M2 modules can also be used in network coprocessor mode, communicating to the host MCU 
using a UART or a SPI interface, giving designers access to the Bluetooth 4.2 feature set, and at the same time, adding flexibility to their design. The difference between the Blue Energy M2SA and M2SP is that the M2SA comes with a high efficiency chip antenna and it's power consumption optimized with an internal switching mode power supply and LSE, whereas the Blue Energy M2SP is cost optimized. It integrates a PCB antenna, it's powered by the internal LDO and it runs on the internal oscillator. They also come in a small form factor, again, which makes it ideal for IoT applications. They also support industrial temperature range going from minus 40 to 85 degrees, and its supply voltage is perfect for battery powered devices. In regards to key applications we can find, social distancing and contact tracing, home appliance, smart building automation devices, among others. Now, in regards to social distancing and contact tracing applications, we can use Bluetooth LE as an aid to protect human health in all environments, especially under global or local pandemic conditions, such as the ones we are facing today. With this in mind, we have once more taken a step ahead and have developed a highly efficient and low-cost reference design based on our Blue Energy tile and our contact tracing SDK that our customers can use as a first step in the design of their Bluetooth enabled social distancing and contact tracing applications. We also bring flexibility to our customers. As mentioned before, we have fully certified modules that offer cost savings during the design process and speed up time to market. And with our system on chip, we offer a low cost, high performance integrated solution. Social distancing through Bluetooth LE can be achieved through beacons and scanning of Bluetooth LE nodes. Since the device sending the beacon advertises its transmit power, the receiving component can use the data in relation to its RSSI to determine the distance between both of them using the following equation. This implementation is based on a non-connectable environment to let as many tags as possible to be able to work together. In this reference design, we decided to use iBeacons since they are simple to implement with a reliable performance and they are able to run on iOS and Android. We are using channels 37, 38, and 39 for advertisement. Now let's describe the process between two nodes, which could be any type of device, such as a band or a tag. The process is started by band 1 generating beacons with a known TX power. Band 2 scans and detects these beacons, checks for the RSSI and stores the device ID and the time in flash. At the same time, it also advertises generating beacons, which in turn band 1 detects, checks for the RSSI as well and stores both the ID and the timestamp in flash. Now let's talk about the factors affecting the RSSI value of the signal. One of these factors is the rotation, since it produces a tilting in the antenna. In order to have an idea of how this rotation affects the RSSI value of the signal, we tested 500 samples under these conditions. As a result, we got a 2 to 3 dBm difference in average. The RSSI value is also affected by the position of the transmitter node or tag, in this case node B, with respect to the antenna on the receiver, in this case node A. To have a better understanding of how the position is affecting the RSSI value of the signal with respect to a fixed node, we tested 500 samples under these conditions. As a result of this test, we got a similar result than the previous one. We saw, in average, a 2 to 3 dBm difference between the values. In regards to the power consumption, we took the following considerations. Nodes will be in sleep mode for 12 hours. We consider this as night mode. For the remaining time, the nodes will go into sleep mode for one second if no beacon is received for two seconds. With this assumption, we can say that 33% of the devices will be in sleep mode, that is, 4 hours. And 66% of the time, the devices will be in active mode, that is, 8 hours. Having the above in mind, in a day, the device will be in active phase. 
for eight hours. With these numbers, we get up to 18 days of battery life with a battery of 250 milliamp hour capacity, which are really good results for this type of applications. Apart from the power consumption, another key consideration for this type of applications is that they need to be low cost. Having this in mind, we have designed the blue tile to be a really low cost, complete sensor node reference design in a two layer PCB bringing from 30 to 40% of cost savings. Regarding certifications, customers can use it as a guide for their chip down design, as it is also a fully certified board. In regards to success stories of social distancing applications, we have customers that are already designing around our Blue Energy Dash 2 SOC and modules, which are part of our 10 year longevity commitment program using our social distancing SDK. Among the products that are already available in the market, we have the Nexten tag, which comes in a waterproof wristband and pendant version. It is based on our Blue Energy M2SA module and it uses our social distancing SDK. It is also capable of achieving 30 centimeters of accuracy. Now let's talk about the takeaways from this webinar. We can say that ST offers a wide portfolio of ultra low power Bluetooth LED devices, covering from the basic to the highly demanding and complex applications. We also have a fully certified Bluetooth LE module offering, which brings cost savings to our customers and helps them speed up their time to market. In regards to social distancing applications, ST offers a complete solution from the software to the hardware to help our customers in their design and speed up their time to market. We also offer a fully documented reference design based on our certified and low cost Blue Tile Sensor Note Eval Board that customers can use as a guide for their applications. Thank you for attending this webinar. If you have further questions, please visit our website or contact your ST sales or marketing representative.